My experience at Birmingham Women's Hospital um, started in 2015. I came in for a scan and I was told there was no heartbeat. I was nearly seven months pregnant at the time and it came out of the blue. There was no indications that there was anything wrong. I then went round to the Abbey Suite and we stayed overnight and I was going to be induced the next day but I went into spontaneous labour and a few hours later, uh, 11 minutes past 8 in the morning, I had my little boy James. Initially we didn't want to see him. We thought why would anyone want to see a dead baby? And straight away afterwards I, I actually hemorrhaged and I was rushed to theatre so I couldn't hold him straight away. But once I was stable and I was back in the room, we thought, no, we do want to see him. He's our baby. We held him. And we were just filled with love. <laughs> we had all those rushes of emotions and, and feelings that you have with a live child. He was our son. He made us parents. And they're the most special memories we have. It's such a taboo subject that's not spoken about, yet when you're there, you're in that bubble, all you want to do is talk about it. And so having somewhere that's breaking the taboos, that's making it say, actually, this is a really difficult time, but we we are here to support you. There's something there that can support you, support your family whilst you're going through this. It's invaluable. Having that support at that initial stage of grief will positively affect someone for the rest of their life. When you don't have that support, that trauma stays with you as having that dedicated environment that can provide that comfort and that specialist, really specialist support that you need will help you to process it and, and, and to learn to live with this new, new way of life that you're, you're going to have to struggle and get through.